lawyers who are not frequently here, um, but who find themselves coming here, should um, take a page from the Attorney General and the Appellate Defender in terms of brief writing. Those organizations are absolutely first rate. They know how to put a brief together. They know how to emphasize the strongest points of their argument. They know how to counter their opponent's arguments. They know how to do that in few pages. And it is, they are, with, with a few other exceptions, principally lawyers who do practice here often, um, are the best of the best. And most people who come here do it so rarely that they just don't have a good feel for what a good brief is. And that matters to me because I read lots of briefs that I say that's really poorly written, the argument isn't advanced, I'm not even sure what the argument is. So that sort of lawyer should study, you know, mm -hmm. go to school on, on those briefs or those of some folks who are widely known to be fairly frequent appellate practitioners because they get it too. And in terms of oral argument, um, it's the same thing that used to happen all the time in the trial court. Lawyers think that if they say it more than once, you'll understand it better. Repetition is not useful. And um, the best arguments up here are those that are carefully mapped out in advance um, and which emphasize the best argument that the, per the proponent has to make and which try to deflect the best argument that the opponent has to make. And then don't spend a lot of time talking about the, the subsidiary issues. We'll deal with them, but you really need to use your 15 minutes up here, since we will interrupt you for sure, um, focusing on the strengths, the strengths of your case and what you perceive to be the weaknesses of your opponents. Mm -hmm. 